Wan Min, a retired special operations soldier, picks up his daughter Fan from school, thrilled about selecting a dress for the upcoming prom. In their rush to reach the downtown store, Wan accidentally collides with another car while searching for parking. Before the drivers can address the collision, a colossal explosion rocks the area, demolishing cars and shattering store windows. Despite glass embedded in his face, Wan's singular focus remains on finding Fan. He dashes into the devastated store. Reporter Lan receives a call from a group identifying themselves as the authentic IRA, claiming responsibility for the bombings. They reveal their code word, Phoenix, and issue a threat to target banks if the British government persists in what they deem an illegal occupation of Ireland. Lan hurries to relay this information to his concerned boss, fearing potential repercussions on the peace accords. The entire office is mobilized to track down the perpetrators. Lan rushes to the scene of the attack, now swarmed with paramedics and casualties. Amidst the chaos, he captures images of the devastation. In a heart-wrenching moment, he observes one holding Fan's lifeless body, shattered and in tears. Meanwhile, the members of the authentic IRA are holed up in a hotel room, the bomber reflecting on the consequences of his actions and pondering the number of lives he has taken. They decide to remain in place as the police are actively searching for any Irishman. Next, we encounter Liam, the Deputy Minister of Northern Ireland and former IRA leader, in bed with his extramarital partner. Upon receiving notification of the bombing, he answers a call from his wife inquiring about the news and questioning his absence. Liam attributes his delay to overtime and heads to his office while conversing with British Cabinet Minister Kate. She urges him to uncover the truth behind the attack and identify the culprits. In exchange for maintaining order, Liam proposes a full pardon for 40 accused Irishmen, including his cousin. Kate agrees to consider it if he provides the names. In Fan's room, Quan stands silently, holding her teddy bear and lost in thought, surrounded by her belongings. Meanwhile, two Scotland Yard detectives arrive at his restaurant and are directed to his upstairs residence. They ask Quan to identify a purse found near Fan's body, but his primary concern is discovering who is responsible for his daughter's death. The detectives assure him they will catch the bombers and bring them to justice before leaving. Later, Liam confronts his former IRA associates, seeking information about the new IRA group and how they obtain the confidential code word intended solely for high-ranking IRA officials. Suspecting a spy, he insists they check their entire inventory for leaks and report them to Scotland Yard. Commander Bromley, investigating the bombing, receives news that Quan has visited the station for the fifth time this week. Meeting Quan, Bromley reassures him they will catch the culprits. Juan offers £20,000 for at least one name, but Bromley warns of danger and advises him to stay away. Bromley learns about Quan's tragic loss, emphasizing that visits divert resources. Three weeks later, police have no leads, but Quan remains determined. Seeing Liam discussing the IRA on TV, he stares intently. Liam, returning to his office, finds a call from Quan, who demands to know his daughter's killer. Liam claims ignorance, offers condolences, and hangs up. Angry and seeking revenge, Quan burns all photos and news clippings. His friend Lam urges him to stop, but Quan, feeling he failed his family, hands over the restaurant title. Despite Lam's insistence on staying, Quan vanishes, returns with supplies, disguises his van, and drives away. Taking a ferry to Northern Ireland, he gets a room. Quan appears at Liam's office, holding a bag, seeking to speak with the minister. Guards try to remove him, but Liam intervenes. In Liam's office, Quan mentions his past IRA involvement, appeals for help, but Liam denies knowledge. Quan hints at changing Liam's mind, excuses himself, and goes to the bathroom to craft a complex timed explosive. Moments later, a colossal explosion shakes the building. An inspector questions Liam about the incident, but he denies knowledge of the culprits. Quan calls, demanding the bombers' names. In anger, Liam threatens retaliation, prompting Quan to hang up. Liam orders a search for Quan, who reaches his room with more supplies, recalling his chemistry class knowledge. As Liam's drivers approach, one spots a wire near the gas tank, finding a note with the word names. At his office, Liam learns Quan's location. He orders his men to capture and dissuade him from returning. The men rush the building, reaching Quan's room, but he blocks the door. Quan escapes to the attic, fighting off pursuers and reaching the roof. Nearly knocked off, he slides to safety, returns inside, and confronts multiple men with swift moves. Despite being grabbed, Quan fights them off, dives through a window, and vanishes, leaving the head bodyguard behind. Jim reports back to Liam, astonished that an elderly man outsmarted them. Liam's nephew, Sean, 
arrives, and Liam urges him to discreetly seek Bromley's help in uncovering the London bombers. Quan returns to the location, incapacitates the guard, and tails Liam. Liam heads to a restaurant for a meeting with his extramarital partner. When Liam receives a message containing a photo of him kissing, along with a demand for names, Quan observes. Sean privately assures Bromley that they are not connected to the attack. Their plan involves assigning different code words to each ranking member, and when the bombers strike again, Bromley is to provide the code word and let them handle it internally. Bromley agrees, on the condition that Scotland Yard takes down the bombers. Liam reaches an off-grid location, calling Jim at the farm. Jim reports searching Quan's room, finding nitroglycerin traces. Trying to reassure Liam, Jim faces doubt. Quan changes his van, hides in the woods, covers the vehicle and tracks, and navigates through the forest to reach Liam's safe house. Silently infiltrating a shed, Quan sets up bombs. When a guard notices the open shed, he raises an alarm, but Quan subdues him. Another guard suffers a similar fate. Tying them up, Quan leaves, and shortly after, the bombs explode. Liam, witnessing the chaos, orders reinforcements, realizing he underestimated Quan. He reassures his wife, who plans to leave him, convinced Quan is solely after Liam. Meanwhile, the authentic IRA readies another bomb but receives a notification that the code word has changed. Back at the farm, Liam prepares for his wife to depart when an explosion rocks outside. Rushing out, they discover a remotely triggered bomb in the driveway. Men head into the nearby woods to capture Quan, sweeping with weapons. Quan sets up a camo trap, swallowing a guard who trips over a wire. Shot in the shoulder by Jim, Quan escapes and hides before being found. Furious, Liam heeds Jim's advice to bring in Sean, a former Royal Irish Regiment soldier. In a London hotel, Mary is alone in her room when Sean arrives, revealing the reason she wanted to leave Liam. Discovering their affair, the two engage in intimacy before Sean receives a call from Liam, requesting assistance in tracking down Quan. Mary attempts to turn Sean against Liam, revealing her resentment for Liam's refusal to avenge her brother's murder. In solitude, Quan, alone in the rain-soaked woods, cauterizes his wound and passes out, reminiscing about the tragic night when he lost his family while fleeing China, saving only Yan. Liam, back home, receives a classified file on Quan, identifying him as the lethal individual known as Humagrath. McGrath, one of Liam's former IRA commanders, questions why Liam's weapon dumps are being searched. Liam discloses that the Semtex used in the bombing came from one of McGrath's dumps. McGrath denies involvement, insisting everything was in order. He suggests continuing the attacks, attempting to persuade Liam. Liam reveals he secretly ordered the bombings, specifying financial institutions as targets while sparing civilians, leaving McGrath angered. Accusing Liam of prioritizing his position in the British government over the IRA's cause, McGrath departs after Liam issues a threat. Liam, downstairs, calls for his dog, finding it unconscious, and discovers his missing gun. Quan appears, holding Liam at gunpoint while wearing a bomb, demanding information on the bombers. Liam swears ignorance but discloses the plan to catch them using the code word. Quan gives him a 24-hour ultimatum before leaving. Bromley reviews bomber footage, noticing a burn mark on the man's hand, planning to locate him in downtown London. Liam's extramarital partner rushes to a waiting biker before a bomb detonates on a crowded bus. Sean arrives at the farm, prepared to hunt Quan alone. Bromley calls Liam, revealing the bombers didn't provide a code word, suspecting Liam of deception. Kate calls, stating Liam will only receive pardons if he identifies and captures the bombers. Amidst these challenges, one of Liam's men, monitoring Mary, reveals that Sean has been involved with her. Spotting her making a call to McGrath, Liam discovers that the authentic IRA is planning another bombing, this time orchestrating it within a computer. Meanwhile, Bromley's team identifies the bomber and has video evidence of his meeting with McGrath. Bromley contacts Liam, who falsely denies any knowledge. Unbeknownst to Liam, Bromley monitors his property via drone and seismograph, hinting at potential consequences. Bromley proposes sending a team to pick up McGrath, damaging Liam's career, or allowing Bromley to interrogate McGrath privately, extracting names and locations to save Liam. Furious, Liam confronts McGrath in his office, holding him at gunpoint. Angry about innocent lives lost, Liam demands names and shoots McGrath in the leg when he refuses. McGrath, in tears, admits using Liam, providing names that shock Liam, including his side piece. Liam, hesitant about revealing the names due to potential backlash, eventually learns that Mary betrayed him too. In a moment of rage, he kills McGrath, disclosing the names to Bromley. Meanwhile, the reporter, 
at Liam's home with his side piece, secretly replaces Liam's laptop battery with a bomb while he is in the bathroom. Sean tracks Quan through the woods, discovering a hut. As he investigates, Quan ambushes him, and a knife duel ensues. After a powerful kick, Quan saves Sean from a perilous fall. Later, Quan ties up Sean, who discloses the names and location of the bombers, including the one with the mark on his hand who killed Quan's daughter. Quan inquires about Sean's family before setting him free. Returning to the farm, Sean finds McGrath dead. Sitting beside Liam, Liam reveals the bombers didn't provide a code word. Despite initial denials, Sean admits to everything when Liam exposes his involvement with Mary. Liam reveals Mary betrayed them by sharing their conversations with McGrath. Giving Sean a final mission, Liam warns him to return to the USA after Bromley surrounds the room where the bombers are, with snipers trained on them. As officers plan to storm the room, Quan arrives at the door with the manager, claiming to check a gas leak. He slips past and heads inside the building. Allowing Quan into the room, he observes everyone, spotting the man with a mark on his hand. As they attempt to search, they discover a gun, prompting Quan to act swiftly. A shootout ensues, with Quan taking down two bombers. Losing his gun, he resorts to physically beating another, smashing his head with a TV before facing one armed with a knife. Using a towel, Quan subdues and strangles him to death. Shortly after, police raid the room, but Quan slips away before capture. In their pursuit, the authorities resort to violence against the side piece to extract the next target's location. Initially resistant, she reveals the information after being coerced with electricity. Racing to the airport, they apprehend the target, seizing his laptop and tossing it into an empty boarding tunnel, causing an explosion. Bromley receives a report of a man entering the room and attacking. Extracting necessary details from the girl, they shoot her dead. Bromley issues an APB for Quan, who is on a bus. Liam receives a call from Kate, who discloses knowledge of his side piece's demise. Despite knowing about his involvement in the bombing, Kate decides to withhold the information, using it as leverage to maintain control over Liam. Mary is at her residence when the doorbell rings, and Sean fatally shoots her. Liam arrives home to find Quan waiting for him. Quan discloses his awareness of Liam's extramarital affair and accuses him of orchestrating the bombing. Liam is compelled to send a picture of him with his mistress, exposing him as a terrorist. Quan departs after delivering this ultimatum. Meanwhile, Lam observes Quan working at the restaurant, seemingly unaffected by recent events. Bromley receives the report of Quan's return but decides against sending a team, citing a dead ode to him. Yan rushes to Quan, joyfully kissing and hugging him, while Quan, overwhelmed with emotion, breaks down in tears. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.